Hey, this is Danny, and I'm gonna do another van tour video. Hey, hi. Um, this is only my second trip out in my Toyota Sienna 2009 minivan that I'm converting into a camper. But every time I go out, I feel like I completely redo the the configuration and the design and everything inside. So I'm just gonna do a van tour plus my friends and family have been asking for it and I don't have many subscribers so I'm really doing it for them too mostly for my friends and family so here you go also I haven't been posting videos because I have this thing like they need to be really good and I'm not a good video videographer yet so I keep stopping myself well enough of that I'm just gonna do this van tour and I'm gonna post it sorry if there's wind noise and I will try to do the best I can okay here's the first side of the van which looks it's pretty good because it has hubcaps. Wait till you get to the other side. I'm missing hubcaps on the other side. It's pretty hilarious actually. There's my solar panel that is charging my little Jackery lithium battery and inverter there on the front seat. Um, I have my Reflectix up because the sun is shining, but they look kind of not great because I haven't done them. I haven't gotten the sizing perfectly right. And to tell you the truth, it just doesn't look that great. <laughs> and I need to spend some more time on it, maybe cut them down a little bit. And I'd also like to put some black on one side so the silver isn't isn't showing through. So here's the other side of the van, and we'll go inside in just a minute. There's my little mosquito netting. But this is the side with, with no hubcaps. So that is just, looks so much better with, I think. Anyway, um, here's a little impromptu mosquito netting. I. Uh, just there aren't any mosquitoes out yet it's March in Texas at least I haven't had a single mosquito around anywhere even though I'm next to a lake but this is just mosquito netting and then some magnets keeping it up which is a just a great cheap solution for right now this is I brought a bunch of extra storage items and things that I'm not using so that's just an extra storage thing that I thought I would use that I'm not here's my dirty dishes I cooked for the first time this morning on my little Coleman butane stove. I was so excited. I even cooked inside the van because I wanted to see if I could do it. So anyway, here's my collapsible uh, dish tub and everything that's dirty. So I'm gonna go down and do those dishes. The whole van still smells like onions. Here is my new dresser, which I am super excited about. I have all my, my toiletry stuff in here. Um, things I need to get ready in the morning and a bunch of other stuff I don't really need but I haven't got that worked out what's gonna stay and what's not I have a little food drawer things that I keep handy uh, raisins and cookies and cashews a lot of times during the day I have hardly been cooking at all yet so I make sandwiches I make peanut butter and jelly I make bologna and cheese sandwiches or I have some salmon and some fruit. This morning I made breakfast burritos with the eggs and the tortillas. This is my basic drawer for, you know, my plates and napkins and stuff. And then there's my silverware and things like that. And then here's the extra stuff that I don't use too often, like the utensils and the bigger knives and um, stuff like that. There's my butane for cooking and some towels and everything the the drawer the bottom drawer isn't going all the way in right now because the Toyota Sienna the bottom the floor of the Toyota Sienna is so uneven you guys and I've been doing a bunch of different stuff to try to even it out but I need to get it completely level so these bottom of drawer will go in and out so that's my dilemma right now I'll probably work on it later today but here's the inside space I've got some nice floor space which I really do like it makes me feel like like I can actually handle this when I have when I have space on the floor, right? And I like to put my sheet down, but I kind of just pulled it up so you guys could kind of see under a little bit. This is a new cot. It's different than the one I had last time. These legs are so secure. My other cot had legs that just went straight down. These little suction cup things are great. And I'll look and put in the description what kind of cot it is. I forget, but it was like $140 or so. But it's padded and it's... And look at, the, I won't show you, but it sits up, you know, like a lawn chair. So I can sit here and work on my computer. I can sit here and read my books and stuff. So it's not only my bed, but it is my dining room or my living room and my lounging area. Well, it's my 
dining room too because I sit right here to eat my <laughs> sit right here to eat uh, my breakfast too anyway so there is my cot it's good for up to like 500 pounds I feel very very sturdy and secure in it which I love and then right in the door here I have my um, fire uh, little fire I was gonna say fire hydrant you know what I'm talking about and um, then I have like little handy items like wipes and stuff that I need to get at reach at all the time here's my favorite item in the van it's this fake little candle and I keep my remote by my bed over there so I keep my remote there and then I can turn on and off my candle when I'm relaxing in bed before I go to sleep and then as we move on back I have my cooler which don't get me started on the cooler okay just getting the, the the wet and the water inside all my food and it's tough I was never a big camper person before this so I don't know any of the little tips and tricks and so I'm just learning everything like reinventing the wheel I watched a bunch of YouTube videos today on how to make a camper work make a make a cooler work a little bit better but this is a really small cooler you guys and I don't know if I'm gonna need a bigger one but I hate to because I just want to save the space so it's only like this wide there's my hand again and then back there I have my my little hassock toilet um, which I dearly love but again it takes up a lot of room I've been debating getting rid of it and maybe getting one of those foldable collapsible ones so that I can collapse it when I'm not using it then back here I have clothes for a few days I have two pairs of pants three shirts underwear, socks, everything. So I keep more clothes back here buried where it's harder to reach them. But every few days I will pull out what I need for the next few days. So that system's working fine for me. And that's super nice and handy, which I love. And then this is just like my jacket, my hat, and actually <laughs> some clergy clothes. Like I might want to throw them on again for a little bit, but they're not clean. So I put them in there. And then there's my Brita water filter, which I love, of course. Uh, the bed you have seen the cot my reflectix are kind of ill-fitting that one's pulled up, pulled out because to get some air because that window pops open just a little bit which I do love for ventilation anyway that's my permanent place where I keep my water bottle I keep my Jackery um, and my reflectix folded up down there when I'm not using them there's my water jugs back there there's my dish towel drying out there is my Lucy light that I truly love. It's a hard time seeing it over the Reflectix, but anyway, you get the picture. And then in my front seat, I have my charging station. That passenger seat is just folded all the way down. And Toyota has a nice little thing where they give you a flat surface. So I have my charging station. There's my Jackery. It's at 92% right now, thank goodness. Getting a little sun. And then I have my fan, which I'll plug in, and my phone I was charging earlier. And so underneath the cot, not all that much room for storage this is not very high here's my hand again it's maybe like seven or eight inches but then by the time I put my weight on the cot and it sinks down there isn't much room that's why I have not plastic bins but I have these soft bins so that they aren't bumping me as I sleep so I just have my books and journals that I'm reading I have my extra blanket that I don't need right now because it is warm here in Texas in the middle of March it's like 75 today I think well, 75 yesterday, maybe 70 today. There's my skillets and stuff because I don't cook very often. I usually just eat hand food. There's my little bag full of project stuff like Velcro and scissors and stuff I need to do projects here around the, uh, around the van. So here's one last look inside and then we'll go open up the back just for fun. Again, I'm just going to open this you guys a view of kind of the back end you've seen most of this stuff and so here is just you know more stuff that I'm not using quite as often in here is extra food and here are my dirty clothes bag here's extra down here I have uh, things like my first aid kit I have a hacksaw I have uh, um, a bunch of magnets, I have my netting, mosquito netting, I have extra toilet paper, all my extras and stuff, and kind of garage stuff for all in there. Extra food. There's my uh, little 
it is a it is a um, Coleman, isn't it? I don't know. Portable gas stove. Portable gas stove. Anyway, it's butane. It's great. And then back here are my um, my little fold-up table. No, here's my little fold-up table. This is my little fold-up chair. But I am a big girl, and I am just not sure that's going to work yet. But I've sat in it a couple times. We'll see if I get used to it or not. I'm a big girl, like I say, and it's very close to the ground. It's very nice having it only take up this much space. I mean, that is small. But it kind of feels small, and I don't know if I can really relax in it. I might have to carry my great big camping chair. We'll see. And then under here... I forget what I have under here. Is it? Oh, that's kind of, that's actually kind of the garage stuff, I think. Oh no, that's my little buddy, heater. That's my heater and like an extra fan, things like that. And then I have an extra little camp table. And then I have a bin back here where I have an extension cord and I have my light and I have stuff to make better videos if I ever get it out and experiment with it. So that is the van tour for right now.